What's up, guys? We are in Malvern, Pennsylvania, right outside of Philly at Mainline Armory. Luxury gun range meets country club. So we're here today to facilitate the Guns Out Range Day Challenge. Just as I said, after Range Day 2023, we'd bring the Range Day Challenge around, do some little mini events leading up to Range Day 2024. So we're getting right to it, jumping right in, getting it done before the end of the year, testing out that theory to see what it's gonna be like to bring our patented range day challenge to other gun ranges and see how it's received. Also, that Gun Talk PA, the NAGA chapter here in this area and Mainline Armory kind of created a little exclusive event for us to introduce us to, to their audience and their participants. But anyway, really excited to come check out this gun range, man. I've heard a lot of great things about it. And uh, listen, we're gonna have fun today. I brought some staccatos for everybody to shoot. There's a couple of other experiences. I think they have like full autos and a little steel shoot going on. So it's gonna be great, man. Guns Out is here representing, bringing a little bit of Guns Out flavor to you know the PA area and uh, see how it goes. So let's go. Greg. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you? Come on, man. You all look more excited to see me than that, man. He's like, hey, hey, how oh. are you? <laughs> What's going on, man? What's up, man? Welcome. Yo. Finally got finally out this way, it. man. Finally came. Dude, man. this facility is massive. Thank you. I mean, I'm thirty thousand square already, feet. Already impressed from the from the exterior. Wait till you get to the end of the tour. The best parts uh, yet to come. That's what's up, man. I'm ready. Let's let's dive right in. Hey, let's start. I always like to start here with the dog tag chandelier. So oh, wow. this is five thousand two hundred and sixty-one names of fallen soldier, sailor, airmen, marines killed during Iraq and Afghanistan. Wow. The black tag symbolized the one, the lone black tag symbolize everybody who died from a condition of the war, like from uh, the burn pits. Mm -hmm. uh, the green tag is the national mental health awareness color. So that's everybody took their life over the war. Wow. My wife and I are both combat vets from Iraq. So we want to um, not only instill a lot of history into here mm -hmm. because of the area we're in, right. but also a lot of memorials for our fallen uh, law enforcement and, and military. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so how did you get the dog tags? So I actually got, I got them custom made um, from a, a dog tag manufacturer. They're all individually named mm -hmm. with the person's name, the date they were killed, where they were killed, and their rank. So um, so that's my question. How like, how did you get that information? DOD. It's all DOD um, on a website. Unbelievable. I love this. I, I, honestly, and, I've never seen this. This is beautiful. Yeah, and it's over our waiting area so people can look up and look mm -hmm. up in the cloud and see, you know, uh, all the fallen. That is a true tribute, man. Congratulations Thank you. For, for doing something like that. So. Over here, we got just apparel. One thing I always was big with is, you know, Glock, Smith, all them. They're not paying me mm -hmm. to sell their stuff, man, so you have your own brand. I'm gonna sell my own yeah, brand. Absolutely. My wife, my it. wife's a marketing uh, guru. Uh -huh. um, works for a big pharmaceutical company. Right. So she did the branding, mm -hmm. all of our colors, everything. Mm -hmm. And the big thing with us is we really cater to women here. So you'll notice that we don't just have like Gildan right. oh, shirts no, for that sure. become like sandpaper after a wash. Mm -hmm. We actually have like nice feeling materials, women fitted clothes a lot of the people who come here they're new gun owners mm -hmm. and it's like the experienced gun owner mm -hmm. the experienced shooter someone who comes to range all the time they're gonna shoot anywhere yeah but there's some like you know there's hesitation when you come to a range and mm -hmm. it's like dark dingy mm -hmm. like we want it to be big bright clean we have a ton of women we have women's training that gets filled up regularly like right. waiting list oh yeah there's a ton of what's the largest growing demographic yes, large, and i mean so this is brilliant to cater to that growing demographic because you want them to feel comfortable. The big thing about, you know, with all these have been tested or approved by my wife, problem is like I traveled the country looking at, at different ranges, some of the best ranges there are. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, we cater to women and all the women's stuff was tucked in the corner and right. dust on it. So, you know, we have like, so with the retail, not no real, no tchotchkes, no knickknacks. It's mm -hmm. all practical stuff, magazines, mm -hmm. holsters, mm -hmm. some rifle parts, bags. Everything you need to, you know, shoot, clean, maintain, mm -hmm. and train. And then all the firearms here, I was really big with breaking down the, the counter between you and a salesman. I didn't want it to be us versus the customer. Mm -hmm. So customers can walk right up and actually touch the firearm. Right. You know? So I see it's kind of set up kind of like SHOT Show, right? Where right. they have it all up. And now is this, you know, they, they can touch it, but they can't take it off. Right, right. Okay, so we, th this will, like, you'd have to actually break the firearm. So mm -hmm. these are secured up on the wall. And we mm -hmm. take a key and tap down. Nice. But now we're going in the Heroes Hall. Okay. Heroes Hall is, we call that because we dedicated um, two of the classrooms to uh, two important people, um, Trooper David Kedra. Okay. He was a trooper that was killed. He, he was, uh, when I was a trooper, I worked with him. He was killed during training mm -hmm. when we were learn getting our new guns mm -hmm. by a firearms instructor, mm -hmm. a corporal who like 
who had 20 years on the job and was doing firearm instruction. Right. And I dedicate to him because it's he was killed during by an accident. And it goes to show you that even the most trained guys need to be diligent. Oh, 100 you know? percent And it's like you can't slack because no. that happens. Yeah, absolutely. Young kid, he was on the job for a year. Mm -hmm. So that's the trooper David Kedger room. That's and awesome. then this is a popular name. I actually uh, went to college with uh, his sister, Travis Mannion. Mm -hmm. um, it's Travis Mannion Foundation. It's a huge um, charity that does um, a lot of work with uh, youth leadership. Mm -hmm. And it's all across the country. Travis was a mainline kid. Um, he was a Marine, went on a second tour. Wow. He volunteered for a second wow. tour. And um, <laughs> on his second tour, he said, uh, his dad was like, why'd you volunteer? And like, he's like, that, if not me, then who? So that's their motto, if not me, then who? Yeah. 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 So we have two, we have two, uh, these are our two public bays. Okay. Again, with the Revolutionary War theme, they're named after Revolutionary War generals. It's the Lafayette Bay, mm -hmm. General Wayne Bay. General Wayne's a, a big local name. Mm -hmm. um, so this is our seven lane bay. Come mm -hmm. on in. All right. So we're set up right now for steel shoot, mm -hmm. but on, a, on any normal day, this is seven lanes. Um, everything's digitally controlled, 25 yard lanes. Uh, we looked, we, we linked up with a company called uh, Rushing Ranges. Yeah. Okay, uh, they set up, they did XCAL. Yep. Um, great company. They're kind of like, I call them like the apple of the industry. They are, they are the apple of gun ranges, right, guys. Rushing yeah. Ranges, I mean, state of the art, everything, and you see the feng shui is top notch. But that's, nice. my, that's my passion. So to see people who never fired a gun, to, to see them come in a couple times and be like, hey, Greg, I'm, I'm hitting bullseye now. I'm hitting defensive shots. It's great. Yeah, you can tell signature for rushing ranges is how they have those angled bays to where, yep. to where it's like, you know, you have more room towards the back. So you're not right. crowding in there if you got multiple shooters that came with you on a, on a single bay. But you know what? There's actually science behind this. Oh, yeah. So the reason why they angle it is it creates pressure at the firing line. Ah, okay? so it also dampens some of the sound? And it also, mm. the reverb. Yep. Oh, wow. So if you look after, it, it, it angles back out. Yep, yep. So a lot of reverbs getting sent down mm -hmm. and some back. It's not going to make it quieter, mm -hmm. but it feels quieter because there's less yeah, beating yeah. on you. You know what? I'm sorry, Jason at XCAL. Uh, I, I remember you told me that. I'm acting, <laughs> I'm, I'm acting brand new right now. Oh, and I, I already know, guys, we're going. This, this is my favorite part right here. This is where we get, <laughs> get to be real bougie. Um, look at this. This is the Valley Forge Oh, Lounge. my goodness. Now. Now guys, this this is new in the high end, the world of high end ranges is a bougie lounge. And I'm gonna tell you right now, at first glance, look at this. You feel like you're at a ski resort. We're going for like ski resort, uh, Valley Forge throwback. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. this is uh, essentially, um, the, the idea behind this is Valley Forge is where the Continental Army came to relax, mm -hmm. recoup before they went off to, to, to fight again. So you'll see the, the blue coat with the uh, tricorn hat. The muskets over there, kind of like the soldiers came to relax, and you know it's just a relaxing environment. You know, fire fireplace going, comfy seats, and then we have the uh, walk-in humidor stocked with uh, some pretty good brands that uh, become highly recommended. But the whole thing is, you can hang out here, smoke a cigar, you put the smoke eaters on, and mm -hmm. even if you don't smoke, you won't be bothered by the smoke. Oh wow! So that's that's what that is. Smoke yeah. Eater? So okay. these three are smoke eaters, and it just wow. cleans the air. That's awesome. So it gets that's sucked awesome. right up. You could be over there, and not bothered by the smoke, um, and you can just get to hang out and relax. Yeah, man. Sip on a bourbon after you shoot, of course. Well, I look forward to that after yeah. our, our event today. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. Well, man, let's have a seat. Let's 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 knock some questions yeah, out real out. quick, if you don't mind. Greg, first off, man, thank you for opening your doors to Guns Out to come and facilitate the Range Day Challenge here. You know, that gun talk brought brought us here, brought us, kind of brought us together. I know, you know, you and I had some correspondence as well, um, but like it was kind of like the perfect scenario when they were they were throwing their event and we could kind of collaborate with them yeah. to bring the Range Day Challenge. So just thank you for opening your doors up to us and then showing us around, you know, the tour and whatnot. Um, so. When I, when I came in, based on the website, it said that you guys were established in 2020. So when did you guys open your doors? We actually opened our doors. We had a soft opening in January and we had a, uh, a grand opening in April. Okay, of this year? Of this year. Okay. Uh, yeah, 2023. Uh -huh. And uh, those guys at Gun Tree Club, Brian Wolf, mm -hmm. Jason down at XCAL were mm -hmm. awesome. They were very hospitable. They, oh, wow. they definitely gave me a lot of information. I, I, I hold a lot of respect for them. They, they both conquered their markets. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially what I want to do up here is I want to bring that luxury club feel, um, you know, a, a fun place to go visit that they've done mm -hmm. um, 
just up in the in the Philadelphia sub, suburbs. Nice, nice. Now this is really, I mean, first off, you've crushed luxury. Thank you. <laughs> there's there's no doubt about that. And I mean, to be honest, you know, that's just the type of society we live in now. We live in an experiential society, right? right? So making anything an experience is just going to draw in those those new customers. And in in this particular, uh, you know, community, it's very important to be able to break down those walls, break down those barriers for new shooters, non shooters, people who are trying to explore the landscape right. of being a gun owner and uh, i think it doesn't get you know much more comfortable than this and specifically in this area right right so like we we we, we coin ourselves as a luxury gun range right mm -hmm. but we're not it's not closed to members we're open to the public mm -hmm. um we're not outrageously priced over any other range um we, we designed this because we wanted it to be comfortable uh, an open and welcoming environment mm -hmm. because the fact of the matter is people were buying guns right in 2020 21 they were buying guns but they weren't getting trained on them mm -hmm. and a lot of the ranges near here it was a they just built the range and if it was it was a field of dreams model if you build it they will come and right but there was never anywhere that that was training mm -hmm. like they closed out a couple of them closed down to new people so it was like you know when i was doing transfers with my father. That's how I got into this. He was an FFL. Um, I would ask people, where are you going to get trained? And they would be like, oh, well, I'm going to go watch a YouTube video, a couple of YouTube videos and go on the range. You know, when we opened this, it was at, at the heart of this was training responsible gun owners, you know, having people trained to, you know, protect their family responsibly. Because, you know, if you don't know what you're doing with a gun, you could have all the best intentions in the world. You're right. still going to injure somebody. 100%. So like we, we offer a lot like at our mainline army training academy, we always have classes and it's from what's the law. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people don't even know the law. How can you expect them to know when to use a firearm if they don't know the law? And the biggest thing that we drive home is customer service. The customer is priority here. Mm -hmm. um, not only, you know, their experience, but their safety. Right. Um, so we, we instill a lot of safety measures that a lot of other ranges don't. So mm -hmm. um, that's what really drove us to build this. It, it's yes, it's beautiful. People want to come and relax. It's very, you know, accommodating, but it was to make people feel comfortable to, to join the community of mm -hmm. gun owners. But Greg, this has been an absolute pleasure, man. I can't wait to, um, you know, get in here and run this challenge for, you know, all of Gun Talk and NAGA that's out there right now. Yeah. We're gonna go talk to them shortly, but uh, I just really appreciate it again, awesome, man, man, all the hospitality, nah, man. you're always and this welcome. And won't, this won't be our last visit without You're always question, welcome man. here, man.